to be in a relationship is just to understand that the triggers and the pain that you experience because of this reflection, this relationship that was in your life, how can that help you become stronger and become a better person and to not repeat those cycles moving forward. I love talking about this topic so much. <laughs> Hi loves, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I am Ro and today we're talking all about the mistakes that I've learned from my 11 exes, who I don't really like to call exes, I like to call them previous partners and you can learn why in my previous video. Every single time that I am in a relationship romantically and then I am no longer in a relationship with them, I purposely sit with myself and reflect what lesson did I learn from this and how can I not repeat this? That is the number one thing that I learned to be able to grow and to make sure that I don't repeat the cycle again. And I can tell you now that I have repeated cycles <laughs> and it's definitely frustrating when I feel like I thought I healed a freaking cycle and then I do it again, like my most recent relationship. <laughs> like I thought I was done with people pleasing and I thought I done, was done with codependency and then guess what? It happened again. But really letting myself sit and be gentle with myself and to be gentle with the process and knowing that every single time I have the intention to grow and to heal, that is one step forward to be able to heal it and to just really set that solid foundation for myself and for the relationships, not only just romantically, but also platonically in my family, just business wise, like whatever relationships that I want to create in my life. So first mistake, not expressing my wants and needs. This was something that I really learned this past relationship. I grew up where I did not express anything that I wanted because every time I did express something that I wanted, it was shut down and it was not received well. Like, for example, I wanted a skateboard when I was little. And the response I would get is that, no, skateboarding is for guys. Nope, you can't do that. And every time I would encounter something like this, like encountering a moment where I wanted, or I did express something that I wanted, then it just taught me to not express myself anymore. Cause why did it matter? Like I just felt like I didn't matter. So with this cycle that I am actively breaking and repeating, that is the first mistake that I learned that I did not want to continue. And the reason I learned this mistake is because I would be that person in the relationship to let something fester inside of me and to not communicate how I felt. I, I wouldn't communicate. I would feel frustrated. I wouldn't communicate what I wanted, what I needed in the relationship because I would think that they could just read my mind. No, nobody can read your mind. And <laughs> that led to me also recognizing that another mistake I had was that I didn't even know what I want. I was not understanding of who I was. That was the second mistake. Like I did not know what I wanted, who I was. I wasn't understanding where I wanted to be in life and where I wanted to go. I felt lost to me that helped me realize that I needed to understand myself before getting into a relationship. And when I think that I knew myself, there comes moments where I thought I knew myself and then I wouldn't understand myself again. And so recognizing that's also part of the human experience. It's okay to feel lost if you are in a relationship and it's okay to not know what you want and know what you need. However, communicating that is so important and a, a mistake that I've learned. I think that every time I didn't know what I wanted, I would just keep it in my head. Instead of saying, look, I don't exactly know what I want right now and I need space. Ooh, that goes into the second, or er, second, third mistake. I didn't know how to ask for space. 
when I look back at every single relationship I've been with, I was that type of person to love to be around them like all the time. Not like all the time, but especially when I first get into a relationship, especially like when I first got together with J-Roll, like we would spend almost every single waking day together. <laughs> and I lost myself. Like I didn't know who I was anymore and I didn't know who I wanted to be as my own individual self. I was just so into putting to guess, putting us together as a package, like as a couple, like doing things together all the time. That was, an, that was the third mistake that I learned, just not knowing how to ask for space and also not knowing how to be in my own space. And that goes into the fourth mistake I learned. And that is allowing myself to be in my own space before I get attached. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just, I'm channeling all these mistakes right now. I don't have like a script or anything. It's just, I, I'm reflecting as I'm recording this right now. And these are all mistakes that I know that I've experienced. It's just really cool to be able to document this and share this with you. So being attached, that was a mistake that I would constantly repeat. And not saying that attachment is a bad thing. I have come into a space now where I don't see attachment as good or bad. Like I can observe that there is unhealthy attachments that I exhibit and there are healthy, secure attachments that I exhibit. But for the most part, I was anxious and avoidant. Like, yeah. <laughs> like every time a conflict would come up, bye. <laughs> I would avoid and I would just run away from the conflict instead of facing it. I wasn't understanding my attachment and why I would get attached so quickly. And I would judge the attachment as negative or something bad where it's okay to be attached. It's just learning to observe that attachment and actively working how to be securely attached rather than repeating anxious avoidant attachments. What number are we on? We're on the fifth mistake. The fifth mistake that I learned is that I wasn't allowing myself to take time to accept them and get to know them for who they really were. Like, because I'm such a fantasizer and a visionary and I get really stuck to a certain idea that I think they are and I like attach to that dream and those hopes and those wishes and that caused me to not accept them for who they are. And because I didn't accept them for who they are, that lead, led to my next mistake, number six, which is that I would try to change them and I would try to fix them to fit this box and this idea that I had of them. Yeah, no, that that's something I do not want to continue moving forward in my next relationships. Being that person who would constantly try to fix person or change a person meant that I wasn't trusting them. Like I wasn't trusting them to be on their own individual path. I wasn't trusting them to be on their own growth path and their own healing path. And that goes into my next mistake was that I wasn't able to trust. Like I wasn't able to trust them being in my life, being the relationship that was attracted to my life for a purpose and for a reason. And so letting myself trust that when somebody comes into my life, whether it's romantic, business, famil fam familiar, just any type of relationship, trusting that they are in my life for a reason and I have the choice to let them in or not let them in. And that goes into boundaries, which leads into my next mistake is that I did not have strong boundaries. Strong? Strong boundaries. Recognizing that because I was a people pleaser, I would just say yes and do things because I had a fear of them not liking me and fear of judging me. And so that goes into my next mistake is that I wasn't being authentically me if I was people pleasing. And it may seem like I have a lot of mistakes that I've learned from all these experiences that I've had with all the beautiful people that I've been with romantically. But really, all of these mistakes that I've learned has helped me understand myself more, understand how to love myself more, understand who I am individually. And that's why I love sharing these with you is because maybe one of these mistakes you can recognize that you do within yourself and 
maybe this will plant a seed for you to reflect more and to understand how you can be a better person in your relationships, whether you're in one now or you're in the process of like dating or if you are manifesting somebody to be a partner, really recognizing your own mistakes and taking responsibility for them. Ooh, that's the next mistake. I was not taking responsibility <laughs> for my actions and for my own mistakes. Like I would blame it on the other person and project like, oh yeah, they're triggering me. It's their fault. I'm like this. No, that means I got some issues in my tissues that I need to face so that I can move forward and not repeat those mistakes again. So learning how to take action and responsibility, that is another mistake. I lost count on like which mistake we're on, but that's definitely a mistake that I've learned, especially recently. And um, I know it's easier said than done to, to take responsibility, but with the willingness and if you really choose to value your relationships and value the relationship with yourself, you have to take responsibility for your actions. Because when you take responsibility, that means you get to create the life that you want to create. You get to create the relationships that you want to build and, and foster in your life. And when I realized that I was playing the victim and blaming other people and pointing fingers, then that really helped me shift to, okay, something needs to change. And if I don't change something, then I'm just going to keep attracting the same relationships over and over and over again. And I used to beat myself up for being in quote unquote, a lot of relationships and quote unquote, changing relationships all the time. Um, because for the longest time, I don't even remember the longest, like the last time I was single and not saying that that's a bad thing. It's just, I know, and I understand now I learn and grow and heal when I am in a relationship. Relationships to me are the biggest reflections of what I need to face and learn about for myself so that I can continue to grow and to continue to create better relationships. That's why I'm so grateful for every single relationship that I had. I truly envision a life where, in a world where people are not holding grudges against their relationship and, and really just understanding and being grateful for all the experiences that they have with them because without them, they wouldn't help you be where you are today. Trust me, like I've gone through some really hard and difficult traumatic stuff with the people that I've been with romantically and instead of blaming them i understand that that was my choice that was something that i had to experience and how am i going to respond instead of react into the situation that i had from the past that was very painful and that hurt me a lot like a lot but that's what that's that's why it's so beautiful to to be in a relationship is just to understand that the triggers and the pain that you experience because of this reflection this relationship that was in your life how can that help you become stronger and become a better person and to not repeat those cycles moving forward? I just want to say thank you to each and every person who I've been with. Like if you if you're somebody that I've been with romantically, I am truly grateful for you. And if you are curious, I had a mini series where I talked to a few of my previous partners called Talks with a Past Lover. So if you're interested in learning some of the lessons that we've learned and talked about after our relationship, feel free to click the little click the little card up there. But um, yeah, I hope all of these mistakes that I've shared with you have planted a seed and opened your eyes to maybe some things that you have done in your relationships that you can use as a seed to grow into blossoming more loving perspectives. I don't know why I did that. I just want to say thank you to all the beautiful tippers and the people who have been financially contributing to this channel because you are really helping me with these production costs and to keep this channel running and also all the beautiful people who've been liking and subscribing and watching these videos so I can reach my goal of a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours at the time of this video. So I just really want to take the moment to say thank you for all of your support 
And if these mistakes helped you, um, feel free to leave a comment below. Like what mistake stuck out to you the most that you feel like you've done as well and now are ready to take responsibility for so that you can attract more loving, beautiful people into your life. Let me know. I would love to hear if any of these resonate with you or if these are mistakes that you've done in your past relationships that have helped you expand and learn from so that you can break those cycles because we out here breaking cycles. That's what I'm all about, breaking cycles. Um, if you need any support and need help finding clarity when it comes to relationships, I am open to consult people again and to really share and to hold that space for you to process and become more clear about what it is you need to take responsibility for at this very moment. So all the info is in the description box below. And until next time, bye loves. We didn't even have texting when we were dating. Isn't that wild? Oh when we were dating, we were like, oh my God, like, the internet, cancel, cancel, <laughs> cancel. <laughs>